Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited for today's video. Just like always, bitch, I'm most excited. We are making sweet, sweet Thai chili stir fry with chicken, baby. It's gonna be delicious. Uh, down below uh, in the description box, I will leave a link to the actual recipe that we're gonna be using today. Um, you are free to follow the recipe the, uh, uh, the, way, that, the way that it is on Pinterest, or um, you can just, you know, um, alter it the way that I'm doing today. A lot of these recipes that I find on, online, um, I just kind of use them as blueprints. And the reason why I say that is because um, some of these recipes are very, how should I say, um, not very generous with their seasoning. And you know me, I'm not a bland bitch. I don't like to eat bland ass food. I come here for the flavor, bitch. Um, and that's what we need to do because at the end of the day, you're cooking this shit, you're eating this shit, so girl, you might, might as well enjoy this shit. Chicken! So here is the chicken that we're gonna be using today. Now I cut these into like little cubes. Um, nothing too big, nothing too small. Give me one second. So here we go. So this is about the chunk that you wanna cut. You now, seasoned. I seasoned this with, um, I have some salt, and you know that I'm not big on the salt, so. We're actually using black pepper. I know, girl, we're not using black pepper corn today. I know, it's a travesty. Uh, but also, uh, is it onion powder? Give me one second, girl. Garlic powder, I'm so sorry. We're using garlic powder. It's super important to oh, be generous with your seasoning. Don't put a little lightly coat because you're not gonna get any of the flavor. You really have to drain that motherfucker into that seasoning if you really want to get some like beautiful aromatic flavors and taste, girl. Now I'm gonna put these bad boys away so we can start getting into this scene right here. So you're just gonna literally just throw those bad boys in there. You know. Put a couple in. You don't want to put too many, too many in, because then it starts to become a mess. Now, um, also FYI, um, it, it tripped me out yesterday when I was doing it. Um, the cornstarch itself will change color. It's not going to stay white. It's literally going to go into like a nice tan color. It's literally going to be the same color as the chicken. Just throw off that excess powder. Excess powder. Oh my God! Look at me using my MUA terms. Here we go. And then we're just gonna cut all of these bad boys and then just gonna get cooking. All right, so I had to bring my big girl pot out because we're cooking a lot of chicken, girl. Uh, I already, uh, what's it called, turn on the stove. I, you wanna do like a medium to high heat, um, especially because I'm working with a big pan like this, so I really need it to heat up uh, evenly. Uh, so um, this is what I meant when I said that it starts to get a little translucent. Not a lot of them have gotten translucent, but as you can see, like how you see here, it's kind of brown and it's kind of just like, literally just melted into the, the chicken. That's what I meant. So, like I said, don't trip out if it starts to change color like that. It's perfectly fine, nothing has happened to it. Oh, also, a pro tip. You wanna like social distance these, like, these chicken, don't put them together, don't, like, don't, because they will stick together and then they'll kind of rip off uh, the cornstarch off each other. We're gonna add some olive oil into the pan. Now, I add a generous amount of olive oil. If you see that the pan starts to dry up, Add more olive oil. Same thing how we're gonna social distance these when we put when we plate them. Same thing we're gonna do when we put them onto the pan girl because you don't want them to stick together, you want them to cook evenly. Um, so if you have to do two rounds of this shit, girl, you will do two rounds of this shit. Now, I don't know why I'm making so much, to be honest with you. I have this tendency to cook like my family does. Whenever they cook, they cook for like, they have a whole fucking football team that's coming over. All right, so we're gonna social distance these bad boys. Kind of give them a little space, a little privacy. Depending on how you want to do it, but I prefer for the cornstarch to really kind of get nice and crispy on the outside because there's something about like eating it like that, especially when you get the sauce in it. Girl, when you get the sauce in it, that's some other level shit, girl. That's some good shit. Um, but you kind of want to bite into like kind of an orange chicken kind of thing. That's how, that's what you're trying to aim for. All right, so it's starting to get a little loud, but I'm actually training these bad boys and see how like nice and crisp and brown they're kind of getting. That's the consistency that we want. Oh girl, I am burning myself. This shit is hot. Ooh, lardy girl, this shit is hot. Oh my god, I'm so over this shit. Oh my god, oh my god. 
Beautiful. Yes, I did it. All right. So in this house, we do check our cholesterol. So I do get a paper towel, put it over a big old plate like this so it can soak up in all the grease just because, like I said, we do watch our cholesterol. You kind of want to use that leftover oil. Try to get as less crumbed as possible if you really, really, really can. Get some of that oil in there. We're going to add some sesame oil. This is the sesame oil that I'm using. Let's focus, baby. Focus. There we go. I'm going to add a bunch of... A good amount of oil onto here and trust me when I say it the sesame oil it's so it's very fragrant it's very nice you, you can tell the presence is there that's what I really really like about it so I'm actually gonna lower this into like maybe like a four between a four and a five and we're gonna add our bell peppers because they are part of our um what's it called they, they need more time cooking we're just gonna have to give this a little turn. Now, as you said, if you carry some juices, you're not gonna get some splash. So I just recommend you buy a splash card. Um, all right. Now that you see that our what's it called your um, your bell peppers are nice and tender and cooked, they'll start they'll start to actually brighten up and kind of get a little bit of, of an orange hue into it. Um, so I'm gonna start to add the rest of the stuff, which is very exciting. We're gonna add our garlic cloves into this bad boy. Wait, give it like a second and it's gonna get very aromatic. So cool. Oh, girl, get it together, girl. And then we're gonna add our onion. So first I'm gonna start off with just a little bit just to see if this is how much I want. I feel like I'm gonna end up adding more. In fact, we're gonna add the whole thing. Let's do it, baby. Go hard, go home, baby. So now we're just gonna cover our garlic, our onion. In that sesame oil and the olive oil that we put in, we're gonna let it do its thing. Ooh, I can smell it. All right, so now we're gonna put, honestly, we're gonna put back our splash guard, and then we're gonna wait till that does its thing. So before your garlic starts to really burn up and your what's it called, your onion starts to really brown itself and get really really translucent, you want to throw in those green beans. So you want to throw in your green beans because they also will need some time to cook. And look at how beautiful that. Ugh. I love when you get a good amount of vegetables and a good amount of chicken in your dish. Like I feel like that's like the best type of dish you can ever get, especially when they're nicely marinated. Put okay. that in there. Put our splash guard back on, and then we'll be back. Okay. Now that we've seen that our green beans kind of are doing this little thing and it's starting to well before that garlic really really starts to break itself apart, we're, we're getting to the fun part. This is a mixture of three, uh, three fourths chili paste and a little bit over a quarter, yeah, over a quarter of honey. So we're gonna add this bad boy in here. Sorry, I used up all the chili, but this is the chili that we're using. Uh, this is the chili paste that I'm using for today. It's, and this is the honey that I'm using. Honestly, you can use any kind of honey that you like. This is the one that I just happen to have in my uh, drawers. So look how beautiful this is. It's getting nice and coated. Now you may think right now it's a little too much, but trust me, the when you, once you put in that chicken girl, it's gonna suck up all that sauce. And you might have to make more, so just be prepared. So now that we see that this, it's doing a thing, I'm actually gonna lower the temperature onto the stove, and that's when we put in, oh, we're making porn, baby. We're making porn! Throw in our chicken. Ah, oh, and it's nice and crispy too. Look at that. I can hear it. So we're gonna throw in our chicken. We're gonna try to coat this chicken as much as possible. But it's a king tug of war, bro. With all the vegetables and all the stuff we have inside. Mmm, it smells so good. So try to coat it as much as possible. You're really gonna have to toss and turn this baby around. Okay, Miss Thing, we did it, bitch, we did it. All right, guys, taste test. So I'm gonna get a little bowl just because I'm waiting for my friends to come over so we can eat. Um, but so we're gonna taste this. So I did, I did pair this up with white rice. You can get real, real, real fancy with it, but fried rice that would be a fucking thing, girl. If you did fried rice, but for the sake of it, we're gonna do some white rice just because I'm kind of a little pooped from just cooking all that stuff. So I'm gonna put some. A little bunch of the white rice. 
Oh, oh yeah. So I'm very happy that our chicken isn't dry, which is really good. It's so moist, it's still, it's still nice and moist and juicy. You can taste all the herbs, you can taste all the, the seasoning. No, this fine dry green beans. Mm. I like this good for some odd reason. Now my green beans are not gonna cook. Now our bell pepper. Mmm. Beautiful flavor. The bell pepper just it just gives it that taste that you need. Mm. It's hella good. Beautiful. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. We did a great job today. Mmm. Right. Give me a second. Ooh. Um, and the sauce, the perfect amount. Now this is it's a little. On the, you can add um, what's it called? You can add some um, chili flakes if you like to, like crushed pepper ones if you uh, if you want to give more of an intense um, heat flavor. I'm perfectly fine with, with, the, with the way that it came out, especially because my friends I don't know if they're into spicy stuff, but I kind of made it spicy. So it's a beautiful compliment with the spiciness and the and the honey. It, it literally blend very well. So it, it was very nice. It wasn't too hot, but it still gave you that nice sweet flavor to it. Um, what else? Um, would I change anything? No. Anything, honestly, it was it was good. The amount of garlic, the amount of onion that we put in it, it was honestly perfectly fine. Um, like I said, you could always alternate it, you could always change it. Cook it to your own liking because at the end of the day, like I said, you're cooking this, you're eating this shit, you better enjoy this shit. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching another video. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, do watch the other videos up here. I'm gonna put one over here. And then follow my page like right here. Um, and then follow my Instagram page like right here. 